My name is Jarvis, and I am a morning hero. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. A few years ago, I had it all. My life couldn't be better. I was working for a software company here in town. I was the number one sales rep for the company, making a lot of money. They had just flown us out to the Bahamas to recognize our achievement, even asked me to speak on stage to say, what was I doing to be so effective and successful? My life couldn't be better. I had the girl, too. Oh, I had the girl. See, she was beautiful. Uh, she was pretty respected in her own right. So together, we were this unstoppable force. We had this penthouse over in Little Italy, floor to ceiling windows, 270 degree wraparound view, the bay on one side, the city on the other side. My life couldn't be better. You see, my life couldn't be better. My life couldn't be better. I had to keep telling myself that over and over because even though on the surface everything looked perfect, deep down I was unhappy. I was waking up every day with this pit of anxiety. It was getting harder and harder to get out of bed. Um, I was going to the doctor trying to figure out what was wrong with me. They couldn't figure it out. I was just clamoring for things to fill this void. So I started getting wrapped in this dangerous path of partying and drinking and my life started to swirl out of control. Uh, until one day I said, that's it. I quit. So my life started to spiral out of control. One day I just said, that's it, I quit. I went into my job, I was the number one sales rep in the company, I walked up to my boss and I said, you know, this isn't fair to you. I'm just taking up space on the team. I'm gonna do you a favor and I'm gonna relieve myself. Packed up my things and I left. I went home and I walked up to my girlfriend and I told her the same thing. You know what, this isn't fair to you. I haven't been fair to you. I'm just taking up space in your life. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna relieve myself. I packed up my things and I left. Four days later, I was on a one-way flight to Europe where I spent the next four months backpacking across 10 different countries, did it all, seen it all, checked everything off my bucket list. I had a great time doing it until all my money ran out. I was forced to come back to the United States, dead broke, had nowhere to go. I had to move back in with my mom in Chicago. She didn't even have a place for me to stay. She had turned my room into a closet. Here I am sitting on her, sleeping on her couch. I went from having it all, the wife, the girl, the money, the job, the car, to no girl, no job, no money, no house. More importantly, I had no dream, no passion, no purpose for my life. I can honestly say this was my rock bottom. You see, the universe operates in perfect timing. It was right at that moment that I got introduced to The Miracle Morning. The Miracle Morning is a book that preaches the principles of waking up early and spending that first hour working on yourself. And when you do this process on a daily basis, you'll find your passion, you'll find your purpose, you'll understand what your grand design is, who your best self is, and help you pursue it every day. I've been doing the Miracle Morning for the last two years, and I can honestly say it has transformed my life. In the last two years, remember that girl that I broke up with? I'm married to her now. I started my own commercial real estate practice. I built the, Amer uh, the Accelerated Growth Club community all while losing 25 pounds in the process. Yeah. <laughs> I can honestly say this very moment, my life couldn't be any better. I'll tell you a little bit about my morning routine. My wife and I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. First thing I do is I activate. I spend 10 minutes doing a high intensity workout. For me, it's, a hunt, it's, it's 10 minutes of straight burpees just to get the blood flowing and get the momentum moving for the day. After I activate, I go into a mode of silence where I reflect on the things that I'm grateful for to bring in great energy into my day. From there, I meditate. Meditation for me is where I listen to my intuition. I listen to what the universe has in store for me. After I meditate, I pull out my journal and I write down all of my goals. And for each goal, I create an action plan. I ask myself, what can I do today that will bring me one step closer to manifesting this goal? Once I have my action plan, the last step is just to put everything from my action plan onto my calendar. Because if it's not on my calendar, it won't get done. Now, I've got my blueprint, my blueprint to having a perfect day. 
By 7 a.m., I've done more than most people will do in their entire day. Hello, everyone. My name is Jarvis. I am a morning hero, and you can be one, too. Thank you. Uh, uh.